blind date with Ronnie Lane. Ronnie Lane reviews the singles of September 1966. Plonk Lane was happily wandering down a corridor at Wembley's Ready Steady Go studio clutching his bass guitar, when he was waylaid by the melody maker, bundled into a dressing room, and thrown into the blind date hot seat. I'm dreading this, Ronnie said, while patiently waiting while two or three rediffusion record players were dusted off, and attempts were made to operate them. Plonk, still clutching his bass and wearing dark glasses, listened quietly to most of the records but he was moved once to snatch a disc from the turntable, march from the room, and hurl it out of the window. Oh no, Ronnie said. I missed the beginning, can you put it on again? It's the who, isn't it? I recognized the backing but vocally, it didn't sound like them. Although it does if you've heard the LP. Yeah, I like this. It's great. Must be Pete's. Can I hear it again? I don't think it's quite so commercial as some of their others. I can't hear what it's all about. But I don't want to say that because I can't stand people who moan that they can't hear the words. This needs something catchy, but there's some great sounds there. The voices are very low though. When I come home, tell me all about it. Is it Spencer? It's nice. I dig it. The backing is sort of like Don Covey. And it's a gas. What? Who wrote it? Stevie, it's a gas and it reminds me of a Don Covey number that we used to do. Can I have that one? When people say in blind date that they'll have to take that one, I thought it was a load of rubbish. George Harrison asking for a free record, own up. Is that Jim Reeves? No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Must be somebody that sounds like him. That's making me cry. What shall we do with that one? Ronnie takes the record off. I think I'll throw it down the lavatory. Ronnie disappears out of the room. Ronnie comes back. I threw it out of the window. Playing this after Spencer Davis, what an anti-climax. Who is this? Wilson Pickett? It's a gas. Best version I've heard since Chris Kenner's. What did somebody else make it smooth for? That is the way to play it. The trouble is, this number has been done too much. Stevie will be pleased. He was raving about this the other day. I don't think this will be a hit, but it will be very popular in the clubs. I thought the Walker Brothers ruined it. Their version was the smooth way, and I didn't dig it at all. Chris Kenner wrote it about two years ago. Where's the land of a thousand dances? Plasto is the land of hope and dances. We used to play there in a pub until Stevie broke the piano in a frenzy. It's nice, isn't it? I can't tell you who it is. I don't want to put my foot in it. Okay, I've got it. It's James Brown. It's a gas. He's the only bloke with a band like that. I dig him, but I don't rave about him. Plenty of other people are just as much a gas. Own up. But so many people seem to rave about him. This could do something, but I don't think it's strong enough. As the wind blows through the trees, it sometimes seems to whisper, he is calling me. It's nice, but it's not for me. It's Sandy Shaw, isn't it? It's a change for her. I'll have to hear it again. Bit of a mystery, this one. But I don't like knocking people because I don't like people knocking me. It's nice, isn't it? I don't know who it is, though. I like the brass, but I'm listening to the voice. That's nice. A knockout. Another thing which can't be a big hit because it's had so much exposure. Get rid of that one. Quick. Is it the new faces? Oh, sorry, Seekers, for confusing you with the new faces. I like their last one, which was a bit more commercial but I don't think this is as good. There's nothing to this one. Yeah, I dig the intro. Have a go at that again. Yeah, who is it? It's great, but in one part, she's talking about bread bread. And in the other, she's talking about money bread. She digs bread. That's what she's laying down. Let's face it, I like all bread. It's a nice record, but I don't feel it will be a hit. The production is pretty good, but I'm very easy to please. But then the cold wind 
just came And when I spoke her name and held her near me It's just one of those records. I don't mind. I wouldn't throw it out of the window but I wouldn't listen to it. I've got nothing to say about that. It exists. It sounds like a cross between Cher and Roy Orbison. I'll tell you what, I'll take all the labels off and take the records home for a week and listen to them. And then I'll tell you what I think of them.